connecting uh, Naoto to to that so I can easily transition to the new new yeah. name. But yeah, it's definitely yeah. difficult yeah. when you're so used to calling a player by one name and they switch. Yeah, it absolutely sucks. Because then they hit you up after the tournament. Hey, man, you're calling me something else. That's not my name anymore. Come on. All right. All right. G give me a break. Okay. No button tech. We're jumping right into the thick of things here. Wow. Okay. Interesting. You would think this late into the bracket, we'd get a uh, button tech, but guess not. Nah. I mean, bo both teams have just played on this recently. They know that they're all warmed up. They're ready to go. Nice. Afterburner kick. Which twist? Another afterburner kick. He wants to steal the deal there with the backer. Doesn't want to go for anything too risky like an up air and risk missing. And then, of course, you know, you're going to eat a shore. You're possibly an up air. Wow, Locust had such a well-placed back air there. He got both of them with that huge damage on it. Oh. oh. Okay, the combo's not really being able to work here on Samsora. Samsora kind of floating his way out of danger. Yeah, Samsora very, very well-versed in the Bayonetta matchup, knowing how to escape her combos. Yeah. Ooh. I believe he's... uh from the same region as uh, Captain Zach, right? Yeah, they definitely play it very often. Definitely. Ooh, JK trying to pull Locus off the stage. Uh-oh. Nice. The ledge camping right now. JK not allowing any access. And wow. before he can get the punish on the shore, you Lapis. Lapis is there to just break up all that commotion. Fantastic uh, awareness there from him. Yeah, and JK holding on to that stock, but finally going to get... KO'd, and we have even stocks here. Yeah, you can't allow either side to really get any breathing room. Can't let them get any clear side of victory because, believe me, they'll take an inch. They'll take your mile as well. Yep. Uh oh. Especially with this matchup. Oh, goodness. Interesting. I thought the parasol would actually be enough to spike, but maybe it caught him too late. Oh, I had to jump with the Shoryu that time. Yeah, Locust is so good at converting those Shoryu can, uh, conversions. Nice. Yeah, it's textbook solid damage. Absolutely. Textbook mat combos is up to right and up special. Oh, but Locus drifting too low and not making it back. JK offstage just pressured him so hard. There's a dare. Uh-oh. Which twist? One, two, three. Nope. This goes for the first hit of fair. A little off the mark with the second hit. Is JK. Oh, yeah, he had his jump. He's making it back. Oh, oh wow. The, the sh again, the sure you can actually hitting Mac on the punish. Wow, so nice. Wait. Absolutely. There's so many, like, mispunishes that both sides are trying to, like, capitalize on that. They keep getting themselves more punished every time. Locus is just playing out of his mind right now. After losing that one stock, he does, he does not want to lose it like that. Absolutely not. Blue team right now looking pretty primed to take this first game. Ooh, great damage from Locus. Nice grab from Lapis. Yeah. Gets Beating him out throw. of the focus. Bullet climax there. Trying to uh, possibly break up some of the commotion on center stage. Nonetheless, fourth throw um, gets him just attacked by yeah. a true Shoryu. Yeah, really great punish there. I understand why he went for grab, though, because like grab is like a quick option, and it's kind of safe-ish. You get some armor, but yeah, I think he threw a little too early. Yeah, Laugh is throwing out that uh, that side beat. Sam Shore not really expecting it. Oh. Not really expecting that either, then trying to counter Lapis to smack him away, but goes low that time. I mean, as he should. He's a little Mac. You have exactly. to go low. Oh, he's got the... Oh, my goodness. That was almost a beautiful setup. Back air. Not going to do it quite yet, but it's going to be hard for him to get back. Oh, battery gets the one, two, three, jab, dash attack. Still, Still not enough to do it, despite how strong that is. Wow, Lapis is living to an insane percent as Little Mac, but that back air is going to do it. It took a double hit from both teammates to try to get him gone. All right, so Locust and Sam Shore taking that first game. Very solid play from both teams, I'd have to say. I'll agree with you, man. Um, you know, neither side really allowed the deficit to become too big. For the most part, they kind of stayed neck and neck, but it just looked like towards the tail end, Samsora and, uh, and Locust just started figuring things out. Right. And they knew how to deal with Mac. Mm -hmm. They knew not to let Mac get going. Because he's one of those characters where if he's feeling himself and he has a lot of momentum, you're in some trouble. But if he's having an off day, you're in good shape. Yeah, they're not letting the KO punch be a uh, factor either. Yeah, they don't fear that. All right, we're running it back to FD here. Nice. Gets the back air. Oh, but he's which timing or which twisting, excuse me, his own teammate. That's not what you want to do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. my goodness. So much shield pressure on Lapis. Not much he could do there. No, sir. Okay, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. The first up tilt show you didn't work. Went for a second one, got the kill he was looking for. That's 30 seconds in. Yeah, Locus is just playing out of his mind right now. 
he's so good at like getting in your face and like being so intimidating and just like that, getting that back air. Got ourselves an even game here now. Oh, nice. There's another forward smash. Oh, JK responding back, but actually going to get hit by the focus. And I know Lapis doesn't really want to deal with Samsora. He's wanting to switch his focus more towards Ryu, no pun intended. Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of difficult for Little Mac to fight Peach when she's floating in the air so often. Yeah. Whereas uh, Ryu stays in, uh, on the ground more often than not. Oh. Wow, very deep edge guard from JK. Gonna take that stock from Locus. Just what they needed. Oh, gets the up tilt, but a little off the mark there with the Shoryu that time. Can he catch him? Okay, try to catch the neutral, get up with the up tilt. Oh, punish that. Oh. And not quite too hard, just a, a little bit of a string there. Yeah, definitely. I would expect to see like a forward smash attempt or like a down smash, but uh, maybe he just kind of left that one to JK. Probably figured, well, maybe we can get him off stage. We'll oh, be. and JK trying to go for the save, but unfortunately the witch was sending him in the wrong direction. Yeah. He was dead no matter what. I really like JK's use of uh, witch time, like after the witch twist, because people are trying to aggressively punish that. Crashes right. into the stage, uses the up air to, uh, to give himself some overhead. Look out, just in case Locus try to go for anything punishable. Oh, gets the tilted up forward smash, steps into it, and sends him to the blast zone. Yeah, Locus definitely over committing on that focus. Flap is being able to punish. That's one thing I can say about Ryu's is like when the stakes get high, they sometimes autopilot and they throw out like the bad options. Oh, and again, JK catching Locus with the witch time. JK has been being really good at catching people with these witch times because, again, people are just very aggressive to try to punish JK for his witch twists. Definitely. Absolutely. Nice. It's another up special attempt. And just like that, we have ourselves a good old-fashioned even game. The percentages yeah. kind of speak a little differently, but the red team still has what it takes try to turn this thing around. Definitely. And honestly, like, Ryu, Locus is at 113%, almost dying that forward smash. Uh-oh, why are we floating? Uh -oh. Shoryu's going to do it, but there's another oh. smash. Oh, his Lapis is not going to make it back from that. Very, very bad angle for him to, he couldn't even recover even if it didn't kill. He couldn't even think about recovering, to be honest. Yeah. So Locus and Samsor are clutching that out. Uh, despite, like, even a closer game than before, yeah. which is already a pretty close game. Uh, they are up two games against Naoto and JK. Yeah, kind of just rocking and rolling here. J Naoto and JK, or Lapis, excuse me, are doing a fantastic and job at working together, but I need to see a bit more synergy on their behalf. What we've seen there in the, their last set towards the tail end, I got to see that throughout the entirety of this set because best believe Peach and Ryu pack a whopping punch, and they are one-hitter quitters like yourselves. All right. Well, I like the focus from Locus, but... I, I'm I'm sorry. It's just it just happens, man. It does. Focus from Locus. Bars, man. Nice. Goes for the down tilt. Gets the Tatsu. Oh, Ooh. and then try to spike him. Whoa. Yeah, that down air from uh, Bayonetta. People forget about it so so often that it throws them off guard. I never forgot, man. No, I'm joking. I, I forgot. <laughs> it's so strong too. And Lab is actually gonna be able to kill off the top with the with his own uppercut. Yeah, fantastic. Capitalizing off the witch time opportunity. I can't say that was quite the synergy I was looking for, but hell, if you see a situation like that, you better capitalize. Ooh. Oh, Sam Sora getting that side B. Mm -hmm. oh, nice coverage from Sam Sora, protecting Locus as he's landing from that sure you can. Definitely fantastic coverage. There's a forward there. Where's JK going? Nice, JK makes it back onto the stage here, but keep in mind they still both have three stocks apiece. This match is moving quickly, but it's also like, in a sense, moving on the slower end of the spectrum. Stocks aren't really flying as early as we thought they were in the last match, but these guys are staying in each other's grill and being very, very aggressive. Like, we're not seeing that defensive play style. Not at all. Very close range uh, plays coming. Oh, and Locus not going to be able to make it back. He is down to one stock. And Samsora also dropping down to two. Red team is in a great position here. Absolutely a phenomenal position, if you will. Oh, what are you doing, Punisher? Oh, was that a bait? That was one of those baits you were talking about. Yep. It's so crazy because, like, you see something commit so hard on the sure you can. You think you have it, but. That was one of the meanest baits ever. Nice. Slides back into the DMs. Up tilt. Oh, my goodness. We're going for a ride to the top. Oh, oh wow. He witch timed the focus. Okay, JK. He's going for this offstage edge guard on Locus, but managing to make it back. But Lap is covering the roll on with the forward smash. Well, somebody has to. Somebody has to be the aggressor offstage. Yeah. And Sam Samsora's doing it on his team. Oh my God. 
if Sam Suarez doing it on his oh. behalf, you know, JK kind of has to do that for the red team and step up to the plate. But nonetheless, uh, the red team right now, four stocks. Yeah, Locus definitely. He's going to get hit by KO Punch. Yeah. I said it. Constable Lemon Stats coming soon, man. Lemon Stats. <laughs> I was going to say they're going to make a setup to it, but no, nah, he just does it on the, le the ledge get up. I mean, why not? Not this time. I have the script, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that, that alleged Smash 4 script that everybody says exists, the gentleman sitting next to me has it. He has it. But I'm not going to be spoiling the result of this set because this is very close. Uh, right team is making this comeback. Definitely easier said than done, but this is still very doable. Now we've given them like uh, we've given them new life in a sense. They have a game up on the board. You know, it's not a clean 3-0 like we thought it was going to be. Yeah, and JK's still grooving. As long as JK's still grooving, they still got a chance. Well, he plays Bayonetta. Bayonetta's a groovy chick, so I figure you got to be a groovy guy. I mean, look at Captain Zach. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Those are groovy guys. Those guys know how to boogie. All righty. Let's see if uh, either side can boogie into a W. Let's go ahead and jump right into the game. Number uh four. Uh, Whoa, okay. what? Okay, I was going to say, JK, please. The, the match has barely started yet. Right. He's just a boy. But, yeah, we're finally seeing a change of pace from FD to Battlefield. Ooh. Nice. Fantastic. Down tilt. Uh-oh. Lucas oh. is off stage again. Can he make it back? Yeah, he does. He gets, end up, he, he gets knocked back on stage by JK, but... Wasn't really in too much danger of getting completely gimped, but that forward smash, she's in danger of the blast zone there right there. It is, man, and getting a one-way ticket stamped. Oh, and Lavis has KO punched. Not, not anymore. That was Sam quick. Sword doing a good job just, like, fearlessly running in with that dash attack to get rid of it. Yeah, he doesn't quite fear the KO punch like uh, everybody else might. Oh, but you need to fear the forward smash. And again, just powering through Ryu's meaty forward air. Yeah, Little Mac, the bruiser from the Bronx, packs a whopping punch. And he's, I mean... You know, he doesn't have, like, an invincible shore you can type. Well, I mean, he has KO punch. But he doesn't yeah. have something input it like that that you can throw it at, at will. Oh. Wow, that follow-up from Locust was insane. Unfortunately, did not get the sweet spot. Well, Lapis just covering beneath him. Sometimes you think you're just jumping over Little Mac and you're safe, but you're not at all. Yeah, you're definitely not safe when you're above a Mac. Unless you're, like, on high ground, it's, you're not safe. Goodness gracious, golly. And I believe that was, was that Lapis? I took that stock. God. I he is on fire here, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before, you can't let a little mech get momentum on his side. Yeah, and that was a really good uh, edge guard from Sam, uh, from Sam Sora. Yeah. Nice, gets the forward tilt. Tries to catch Sam Sora with the turnaround jolt haymaker. Sam Sora with the solid read on that. Uh, JK is just trying to like get like some big combos started here. He's but trying. The matches that he really can't get his combos going are the matches that they can't win. Because they know how to work around Little Mac, but you can't really work around Bayonetta so much. Yeah, especially when she's in your face getting these huge strings together. Yeah, easier said than done. Uh-oh. Okay, I do appreciate that. Didn't go for the tilt that time. Just went right for the show you to kind of get away from uh, Lapis. Yeah, one thing about uh, Little Mac when he has that KO punch is he starts to kind of play like linearly. Like, you know he's looking for it because mm -hmm. he wants that early kill. Every time. All right, Sam Sora is sitting at 104%. If he can hold on to the stock, it's definitely not undoable. Yeah. They've got to take this stock from Captain Zach, though, but uh, JK, Sam Sora going to lose it. You mean JK. Bro. Yeah, sorry. No, got you, man. All Bayo Ooh. mans are the same. No, I'm joking. They're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I voted right. for Bayo, man. We're going to have a talk later. <laughs> 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 All right, but Locus is just having a hell of a time getting back on the stage right now. And honestly, this, this reverse... Oh, no! This reverse 3-0 we were talking about just looks doable for JK and Lapis as they are one game away from getting to grand finals. I thought they were going to use the up special from Matt and then use Witch Twist from Bayonetta and then she does her thing at the top. I mean, they might as well. They could really do anything there. They had, they had Locus, like, in the ball of their hands. So we are going to be seeing a game five. Once again, these last couple sets have been so competitive and close. Yeah, they seriously have. Um, a lot of good adaptation from all teams around. Especially these guys here. JK yeah. and Lapis, even if they don't win it all today, they, I don't think I've seen adaptation quite like these guys. Yeah, I don't think I don't think people expected this team to be in the top three. 
Nice. I just got um, I just got a heads up that Lapis Lazuli is um, from Steven Universe. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hey. I don't know too much about Steven Universe, but I do know that. I'll ask my students at school on Monday. <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Right. Oh. Okay, gets the backer. They're trying to keep JK up there on that uh that left platform. Oh, Sam Sora. Oh, he's going to KO punch right through the focus, but Sam Sora going to punish it, trading stock for stock on these teams. There it is, man, and Lap is kind of losing focus as uh, Sam Sora just found access to an up smash and just completely eliminated that stock. I'm talking uh, just erased it like an etch a sketch Literally just took it and shook it. Yeah, and Sam Sora looking in kind of a dangerous position here at 101%. <laughs> he's got a... Ooh. Oh! Locus making, making a huge play there, getting an early stock on Little Mac. That's going to really define this game five. Seriously, man. This is just not a good spot right here for the red team to be at at all, man. Just for them to have this complete turnaround, then for Lapis to come here and lose two stocks in less than a minute, this is just not good. Oh, it, it, Peach was just deleted. Just gone. Yeah, seriously. Minimize, man. All right, but JK looking to get some damage on Locust and get Ooh. the team back into this, but... Dude. Golly! These stocks are flying left and right. Not really seeing a lot of team synergy anymore. We're starting to see a, more of a, a slugfest, if you, if you will. And that yeah. could be because this is a game five situation. They kind of know what's on the line. So maybe they're a little nervous. I'm not sure, but I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Yeah, brave down air from Sam Sora. Going to knock Little Mac out of his KO punch and get a nice combo going. Okay, Lap is not really falling for the baits anymore. Okay, kind of took the words right out of my mouth. Wow, Locus is just looking for these up tilts. It's so scary. They can't, like, get past this pressure. Goodness gracious, the slip counter almost getting the, the two-for-one special, man. Yeah, the slip counter definitely getting uh, red team some more footing, which is just what they needed. But Yeah, they definitely did. The nice, the forward tilt, taking yeah. out Locus, and just like that, things have opened up a bit more here for the red team. Yeah, the one-two punch Ooh. beating out that focus, but the one-two from Locus getting that stock. And oh the no. down air spike. Oh, no. That was so smart, though, there from, uh, from Locus. I think he knew that Lapis was going to try to do, like, the tilted up forward smash to try to outspace him. He said, you know what, man? You're not going to outspace these up tilts. Oh. It, it ain't happening. Locus here, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Clutch. Just completely eliminated JK. And now we have Lapis in a 2v1 situation. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult as Little Mac. I mean, he's going to have to get a KO punch. He's going to have to get a kill and get a KO punch to have any chance here. Seriously. This is much easier said than done. Oh, but he just goes for it. And that's going to... Oh, no, they wanted to do the thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> the the shriek into <laughs> parasol. I really want to see that. You need to be stopped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finishing off with the forward tilt. Sam Soren Locust taking that pretty solidly in game five, but definitely a competitive set. Yeah. Very exciting all around. Ladies and gentlemen, that match was completely back and forth. Like I at first I'm like Sam Soren and, and Locust got this. Yeah. But then I was like, wait a second. They, they're getting reverse 3-0 here. They're getting they reverse 3 0 Lapis and JK are coming in with some momentum. They've been left running hot and they're here to get this. To get these uh to get these w's yeah and that just went down to the wire that was a lot closer than i expected to be but man in smash 4 i mean any character could kind of be utilized in doubles i mean yeah Mac, who would have thought I i've said it time and again but doubles is really the meta game where even an awkward character in singles can shine because you can utilize their strengths mm -hmm. and cover for their weaknesses Definitely. with that other player